Welcome back to Byte BSU. I'm Wes Womble. And I'm Matthew Yap. And this past weekend, we got a chance to see Get Out, and we're here to answer the question on all of your minds. Does it suck? No. I mean, yeah, I, th I thought it was pretty okay. Yeah, I liked it. All right, well, I guess we're done. Let's get out of here. Like... This week, we got a chance to see Jordan Peele's directorial debut, and we were beyond impressed. I loved everything about this movie, from the concept to execution, it was all amazing. This film was an excellent thriller that kept me guessing and on the edge of my seat the entire time I was there. All the twists and turns were so unexpected and the story worked so well because of this amazing cast. English actor Daniel Kaluuya did a fantastic job starring as Chris Washington. Absolutely. This entire film rests on his performance and I was blown away. The fear and confusion in his eyes throughout the story as the horror unfolds before him is so subtle but extremely effective. I completely agree. There wasn't really a weak link when it came to performances either. Even the minor characters were great. Gail Landry Jones played the youngest child of the Armitage family, and although he was kind of insignificant plot-wise, he managed to make me feel incredibly uncomfortable. Every time he was on screen, like seriously, my god, your face freaks me it's out. It's just such a punchable you just face. just want to hit him. Yeah. Wow. Get Out also did a great job of mixing comedy into a dark storyline, which isn't a surprise given that Jordan Peele also wrote the film. For example, the character of Rod Williams, Chris's best friend, is an amazing three-dimensional comic relief, who ends up playing a massively important role in the story. But I won't spoil too much for you. I really enjoy the idea of this movie. It could have easily just been a white people are crazy, which, fair point, but it took it a step farther. I didn't really know much going in other than it had something to do with racist hypnotists, so I didn't know what to expect, but I was completely caught off guard by how interesting the plot was. Agreed. Jordan Peele tackled the topic of racism in a very unique way, and I, while I was checking on my friend mildly freaking out as I was watching the movie, it was me. Afterwards, it really got me thinking. Again, I really don't want to spoil too much though because the story benefits from not knowing a whole lot about it beforehand and because the twists and turns are so well done, it begs to be rewatched. I mean, this film currently has a coveted 100% on Rotten Tomatoes Shoot. and it's well deserved in my opinion. I would definitely go and watch this movie again in theaters. I agree. I think it all goes back to how everything makes you subtly uncomfortable. Every fly buzzing or spoon stirring against a cup builds the atmosphere up perfectly. My only letdown is that it wasn't out for the Oscars this year. Although it probably would have been robbed by La La Land, so I guess I mean, it's the best. we had that whole snafu with Moonlight, let's be real here. And Emma Stone. Well, that's all we have to say about it for now. For all your media, tech, and entertainment news, be sure to subscribe to Byte BSU, and we'll see you on the next Does It Suck? Really a weak, weak link when it came to this perf <laughs> I used to be good. <laughs> Should we wave at random people? See if they wave back. Oh, she's a little bit you stared right at me. You, you stared right at me. What? Nobody's waving back, like... <laughs> they're awkwardly looking down, like... Now I'm just disappointed. <laughs>